the many things that I look forward to during the holidays is eggnog, man. I, I, I love eggnog. I really do. I'm not, I'm not saying that. I got to have my eggnog for the holidays. And my next guest is a mixologist who's taking traditional eggnog cocktails to the next level. Please welcome the head mixologist of W Hotel Chicago. Please welcome Lauren. Hi, Lauren. How you doing? So, Lauren, what do you have here? Well, Steve, I have a few different ways to make eggnogs. I got some sweet, some savory, and uh, showing you different ways to dress it up so we can impress your friends and family at the, your holiday parties. Well, first we've got the uh, brown buttered rum with sage cotton candy. I know. So I brown the butter. I put in some gelato. I make my base like that. We're going to add the cotton candy on top. You can serve this hot or cold. It doesn't matter. So just tell me what you think about this, Steve. Okay. I got to try that. Right? Wow. It's good? Oh, that's pretty good right yeah. there. <laughs> we do have more to try. I got, okay. all right, this Who's one, going? I call it a nuts and berries snog. Mm -hmm. And I added cherry liqueur and an amaretto liqueur. It gives it, the amaretto makes it like taste like the, uh, the Christmas cookies my grandma used to taste. And I got this uh, dried cherry garnish. So by the time you finish your nog, those dried cherries are plump full of the nog. Right? Oh, yeah, that's pretty right? good. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good too. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm Are you going to make it to the end? I'm going to make it to So I have Harvey's Holiday Nog. Okay. So I got the eggnog base. And I'm going to add the uh, whipped egg whites because we got to get it nice and fluffy, okay. you know? And then what I have here is an infused, jalapeno infused rum. And we're okay. just gonna add that to it. So it's gonna be a little bit different. So you just add that right in there. We're gonna add a little white pepper. Just white dash of that. Pepper. White pepper, yeah. Yeah, and a little bit of salt. A little salt. Yeah. So we got that in there. Screw this top on. Click our little shaker on. Shake this up. Ooh. All right. Pour that in the glass. And we're gonna garnish it with a little bit of cayenne pepper and nutmeg, both. And this is my first time trying it. I'm pretty excited with the fried oyster. Yeah, you ain't lying, girl. So, Let me tell you something. This is a whole nother level there we of. Go. Wow. Yeah, you use this first? Mm-hmm. Let me see what you're working with right here. Mm -hmm. Right? <laughs> get you get you going. You know what? What's that? You a you bad like girl. It? I ain't gonna lie to you. You a bad girl. <laughs> Everybody can try making these cocktails at home, cause you're all getting this barware set by Rabbit. You're getting that by Rabbit is known for the game-changing Rabbit Corkscrew. Rabbit has everything you need to open, serve, and preserve your favorite wine and spirits. Thanks, everybody, for joining us today. Thanks to everybody watching at home. We'll see you next time, folks.